Hey everyone! So, um, first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you all so much for all the wonderful things that y'all have said and congratulations about our announcement video. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will put it in the description box below. Um, but I announced on Wednesday that we are expecting baby number 10. <laughs> oh. We're going to have a baby. Yep, we're going to have another baby. You excited? A girl. She wants a girl baby. <laughs> oh, you don't think we have enough girls? No, say we can never have too many girls, right? <laughs> oh, so the, all the girls want a girl baby. That's what we say. We, they want a girl baby. Um, and the boys naturally want a boy baby. Um, the girls want a girl baby because they said that... And we already got a boy baby. We already have a boy baby. <laughs> um, girls are more fun to dress up. Okay, sorry about that. So, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you all very much. It was very encouraging. Um, and actually, we have not this time received one negative comment. We've had a few, are you crazy? But I can see what people would say that. <laughs> oh, anyway, so um, normally there's always like one naysayer, you know. But I have found, I think since we've had maybe our seventh or eighth baby. I think once you've officially reached like crazy town, people just start congratulating you instead of saying negative comments. <laughs> oh, so you gotta get over the hump of, all right, what are these people doing to crazy town and then people are just happy for you, so. Anyways, <laughs> so and a couple of you were really funny um, and suspected as well, just like my older girls. <laughs> <laughs> one, I kept forgetting to take off these wristbands in my videos, and I noticed it, like, and I was like, you know what, I just don't even care, like, if people know, whatever. Um, so I was waiting, kids are running around crazy, I was waiting for my ultrasound, which was this week, um, to, like, officially announce, just to make sure that everything was okay. I've been having, I mean, I was extra nauseous, so I figured everything was fine, but I was having some other symptoms that I was worried that maybe something wasn't fine um but everything is good and we got to see the baby i had an ultrasound i think i said that right I had an ultrasound and um like i said got to see the baby in the heartbeat so anyways everything looks good and they said the things that i was experiencing you know they were a little bit concerned but i said take it easy drink lots of water <laughs> anyways <laughs> So one of the things in my first trimester that I have to make sure that I do is eat. <laughs> Sounds funny, but it's annoying. <laughs> so I wake up in the morning. Normally my routine is I wake up, I jump in the shower. I can't do that. Like I have to wake up and eat breakfast right away. So we get- Oh my God, it feels like another tooth is I don't know. Um, Cause it feels hard. Okay, I'll look in a minute. So, I have to wake up and I have to eat breakfast right away. Well, meat, eggs, all of that stuff always disgusts me. So, I, um, my go-to is like oatmeal because it's just so filling. And so, I've already had oatmeal is what I'm getting at. But it's been like two and a half hours and I need to eat again. So that's kind of what makes me feel very nauseous is whenever my stomach starts to get empty. But it's annoying to me because I'm busy and before I know it, it's time to eat again. And it's like I have to eat even if I don't feel hungry. Does that make sense? Anyways, kids are running around crazy. <laughs> so they all ran away now. So actually got myself a treat yesterday. I bought a new Pioneer Woman Cup in hopes it would help me get my water in. Um, my other cups were just getting kind of gross. So... I just treated myself a little bit and hopefully that'll help me <laughs> drink water. I don't know. A new fun cup helps, right? Can we do my outside decorate? Oh, no, not right now. Okay. What are you doing? Hmm? Damper bread. Damper. Damper bread. Maddie's making damper bread from her lesson. We'll see how this works. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Wave. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. 
Of course, you're not going to do it now. There, say hi. <laughs> Get into Bonk. what's on your lips? Lipstick. Lipstick. Yeah. Did you get into mommy's makeup? Yeah. Do you look pretty? Yeah. You want to look at me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing school. You're doing your school. You learning to write your name? Yeah. Okay. So I get a lot of questions like. How do you do it? How do you manage? All that fun stuff. <laughs> and the truth is just one day at a time. Sometimes one hour, one minute at a time. <laughs> just like any other mom. Um, I typically am sick in my first trimester. And it lasts like to 14, 15, sometimes even 16 weeks. I have not had hyperemesis, so I am fortunate for that. But I am very, very nauseous and very, very tired. I swear I could totally sleep my first trimester away. Um, so I have to make sure that I rest. Because if I don't, I end up feeling worse at night. Um, so yeah, and that's kind of where I am right now. I'm like really tired. So Drew is asleep. A chunk of school has gotten done. Not everything. Um, and that's the biggest thing during this time is to, ex to give myself grace because I can't do everything whenever I don't feel a hundred percent and that's okay. Um, the kids are learning, even though it may not be out of a book, they are learning how to help each other. They are learning how to help me. They are learning a lot of household skills, <laughs> um, because they majorly, oh, excuse me. They majorly help out during times like this. Um, because I need them to. And I think it's good for them as well. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go rest. <laughs> well, here's Addison's bread that she did. It was supposed to be one loaf and she wanted to make biscuits instead after she made the dough. So in true Addie fashion, like she has to do everything her own way. I'm like, yeah, that was a waste. Huh? <laughs> but she did it. I guess she got it out of her system. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I rested a bit. I'm just feeling very crummy today. Some days are worse than others. Um, today is kind of one of those days. I really didn't know that it was going to be like this whenever I started to vlog, so sorry about that, but that's all I got right now. <laughs> so y'all bear with me as I'm... <laughs> just very weak and tired um, for the next few weeks. I will do my best with videos and stuff, but um, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, I actually have low blood pressure anyways, um, and it gets worse whenever I'm pregnant. And so I'll have these periods, it doesn't happen every day, I don't know, where my blood pressure will just tank and I just start feeling really weak and dizzy and I think that's what was happening today. So anyways, whenever that happens, I try to increase my sodium. And usually my go-to is eating pickles. <laughs> so pickles in pregnancy really do go hand in hand. I don't necessarily crave them. It's just, anyways. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> Dinner bell is starting to call. <laughs> so I'd actually, on the menu, yeah, you can have a snack. On the menu today was supposed to be um, homemade pizza. And if y'all know from my grocery challenge video, I normally buy like store-bought crust because yeah, um, lazy like that. But I decided not to, to help save money in that department. <laughs> I'm really regretting that decision right now. Cause I'm just looking, I thought that I could get up and make the dough. And really I probably could, but there's a Papa John's around the corner. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just, what baby? Hang on. I think I'm just gonna order pizza and just call it a pizza night. A pizza night emergency. And this does not come out of my grocery budget challenge. Budget, grocery budget, whatever. It doesn't count. Uh, anyways, I already texted my husband. He's like, whatever you need. He's a good man. So, um, Anyways, to also update you, all the kids are better. 
Um, Drew had the flu pretty bad and it lasted almost five to six days for him. He did not have a fever that long, but he was definitely not feeling good for that long. I think he had a fever for three to four days. Anyways, but now he's cutting his two top teeth, so that's super fun. <laughs> so anyways, this is all I got. I'm sorry, it's not eventful. Excuse me, it's me whining and complaining but this is my life right now. So anyways, again, I thank you all so much for your um, super kind words and support and congratulations for us. We are super excited that God would bless us again. Um, and even though I feel miserable, I am very thankful because feeling miserable is a sign of a healthy pregnancy. So that is what I tell myself um, to get me through. So anyways, I hope that you all have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.